Hey guys, welcome in. We're going to be taking a look at Bomb Box today. I want to give a thank you to Springleaf for letting me get access to this game. This game is actually going to be coming out the day that I upload this video. So April 25th you'll be able to pick this game up on Steam. The game's going to release with 50 plus levels with the developer saying there's plans to add more into the future. Um, I did look up on Steam, and there was a link to a Discord server. I couldn't get into the Discord server, but it does look like it's a solo indie developer, and it does look like they do potentially want to have feedback and to use that as a form of growth for the game and everything, so that's nice. Always like to be able to help um, solo developers. So I'm going to try to figure out what's going on with that because I'd love to be able to join in on that community, see what future projects and other stuff they have. It's, um, sorry, I'm not even talking about the game. So Bomb Box is a, it's a puzzle game. Um, it's nice. Uh, in the bottom right there where there's the three circles, those are the order that you have to get the colors in. The black box has the time, obviously, when that runs out the level ends and the green is for when the first one hits the box then that timer starts going down so you have to get the rest of them in that time i did not make y'all sit through every time i had to reset a level there were a few times i had uh, a couple of levels that uh i had to reset a couple of times the game's Overall, pretty basic, pretty fun. Not um, not a tremendous amount to talk to with it. Just kind of a fun little puzzle game. As they go on, they get more and more complicated. It is nice. You do have multiple ways you can solve each level. As you can see, there's more wires than is necessary on some of them. The game does come with a few achievements. So that's always nice too. I am a firm believer that a game with achievements are better. Uh, personal bias there. I just love collecting achievements. And on these kind of indie games and stuff like that, it's always nice too because the less people that have the achievement, the rarer it is. And I am a big fan of getting those rare achievements that nobody has. The game starts ramping up in difficulty here shortly. Just like any game, you know, gotta ease you into it, make you feel like it's too easy, and then all of a sudden, BAM! Jumps up in difficulty. I do feel like this game on a touch screen would be nice, being able to just kind of hover your fingers over them and not have to move the mouse around. I don't know if there are any plans to make this a mobile game, but that would be, I think, a nice platform for this type of game where you have these these multiple inputs like this. Um, but yeah, just kind of overall showing the first 25 levels of it. Uh, like I said, some of them I got first try, some of them I did mess up on. But I did not make y'all sit through every mess up and mistake that I made. I tried to make seamless cuts on that. I do like the concept of having multiple ways to beat the puzzle though, that's pretty cool. I do like the minimalistic style. There was another game, puzzle game similar to this minimalistic style, I think it was called Hook, that I also enjoyed. So if you like these type of puzzle games, I would also recommend checking that one out because that one was also a fun one. Don't believe it's the same developer. And that game, a couple years ago, I can't remember how old that game is. But I, I'm just a firm believer in puzzle games. Keep your mind sharp. minimal 
uh, options that you can change, stuff like that. Basically just full screen, non-full screen, pick your levels, reset your level, and quit the game. So, minimal interface and everything. It's very clean. Right here we're starting to get into more of the complicated levels where there's offshoots and other stuff like that. Just trying to get everything to good. That level right there gave me a couple of retries on there trying to figure out. I tried to use that big blue one and I just finally was like, wait a minute, I don't need this. I can just do it this way. But yeah, that was the look at the first 25 levels of this game and I appreciate y'all coming by. And I uh, hope to see you in the next one.